Hi there, it's a Wednesday special. As you know, we run cycling tours in the summer and that's what, how we earn our money. And uh, during those tours, we are away from our base here. <laughs> and um, up to a week at, or two weeks at a time when we go to the Alps. So one thing that doesn't stop growing is that grass. And trying to manage the, the grass here while we're away is a real pain because we don't have any gardeners. So I rush back get the lawnmower out and try and get it all done before our guests pull in through the gates on their bikes. On the off-grid plot, our building plot, we've got the tractor, the remote controlled lawnmower and now we've got a big strimmer as well, weed whacker. So we sort of nip up there during a, a lunch break or something and try and get a control on that grass. But when clients come back here, we want them to see a nice lawn. Yeah. And doing that is a real rush because we also have to open the house up after being away for a week. Plus, I cook all the meals of an evening, so mm, <laughs> time's critical. So we want to thank RoboOp for sending us their remote controlled lawnmower. And uh, it's fully autonomous. And uh, one good thing about this lawnmower, it doesn't need the boundaries all set with cables. It is fully GPS uh, controlled. So we're gonna uh, do quickly do the unboxing and get this set up in real time. So we've not practiced this. So we have no idea what's in the box. It's a and, heavy uh, box. <laughs> yeah, very heavy. And um, we are going away at the end of this week on another tour. So it'll be a great test to see how it does. And if it's sitting in the middle of the lawn, all broken down when we get back, We'll tell you. Exactly. <laughs> so let's go and see what's in this box. Pretty good manual. And it's in quite a few languages. Italian, German, French, English. I thought it was really thick, but yeah, that's all the languages. And this is the uh, the home base, little QR code there. So we've got to set this up in the garden next to power and also Wi-Fi. So first things first, I have to install the charging station. I've got to check that the Wi-Fi is good and we have an app for that. There's that little QR code and I've downloaded that already. Um, I've plugged in the mains, right, so uh, I think this is pretty flat here, I have a, a plug socket just here, so I'm going to turn him on, green lights on, little red light is flashing, so later on I can install all of this, so it's all off the ground. So let's just put that, should be okay I think. Charging here. So this here is the GPS receiver, the RTK. Um, it starts off red when you first turn it on and then it flashes blue as it's um, collecting satellites basically after it's receiving several signals from uh, various of the GPS satellites. It needs to go solid blue. So this means I haven't got it in a very good location. But what they do is provide a, an extension cable and a blanking plate. And what we do is take this RTK receiver and extend it to a higher higher level basically, which in this case, I'm going to put it near to the, uh, the gable end of the, uh, the barn here. Not sure what I'll do, I'll just unscrew this and then I'll turn the power off. And then this should slide out. This cable comes off. There's a little push-out panel here on this little unit, so I'm just going to push that out, thread that through and connect to the original cable. And 
and that should just fit back in. Put the screw back in. So this is the GPS unit that I've just taken off. It basically has various screw holes here and um, in the pack it's got clamps so you can actually put it on a post and clamp it to a post. At the moment I'm just going to see where a good position will be. So I'm going to temporarily just put it up on the gable end. So screw that in, plug the power back in just to make sure and I've got the red flashing light and then after a few minutes that should turn to a blue flashing light and ultimately a solid blue light. So on startup it comes up with enter pin code. In the book it's 000 000 000 Whew. It is so hot. I have to use my towel. <laughs> we suddenly got into that heat wave that's uh, spreading across Europe so it's all up at the Pyrenees now. But if you haven't seen it before this is all our solar system up on the roof 18 panels and I'm going to put the GPS unit just at the end of this roof here. We've been waiting for this little light to stop flashing blue. As soon as it gets on the roof, it's now solid blue, so I'm not quite sure where you need to put this. Let's leave it down there because it's very, very hot up here. So, um... It's hot down here. <laughs> I don't want it melting. I'll just come down and Julie says, Oh no, it only stops flashing when I'm holding it up in the air. So I'm going back up on the roof and we're going to put it up on the roof. So Ian's now back on the roof for right, the second stop time. Stop flashing now, Julie. That's all right. Right, I'm just going to put the cable up here just to secure the weight of the cable. Right, that's solid blue now. So it's getting all the satellites. I'm just going to leave it up here for now for the test. And then we will probably put a post maybe just here and install it properly when we know it all works. Now we add the robo up to the application. Very, very simple. You just follow the instructions on the app and uh, it'll take you all the way through. We now need to make a virtual map of the garden. Now I use the auto mapping and uh, this basically uses its CPAS technology that recognizes the boundary of the garden. The positioning uses the RTK and the VSLAM, which is a visual simultaneous localization and mapping, and also INS, inertial navigation system, and it combines all three to get centimeter accuracy of your garden. Well, it seems to be mapping at the moment. Did um, about five minutes of calibration and then uh, it just shot out to the docking station. And I don't know whether you can see it. Mm. On the app, it's got a little trace of where this little mower's going. So these little um, tufts of grass and things that we haven't actually strimmed and uh, got tidy, it's actually coming around here. So what we need to do is actually tidy up all the edges just like the, um, the bushes over there, it's getting confused. But that's fine, it's doing a pretty good job. It's uh, mapped out where the pool is at the moment. So I must say we have quite a complicated garden here. So as you see, it's going around to this rose. So if we'd have snipped that off, it had gone in a nice straight line. So it's down to us to tidy up all these edges and then um, it should map it out really nice. But for now, I'm just gonna let it go. So it's autonomously mapping out the edges of the garden. <laughs> the barricade. Oh, it worked. Oh, it's found it. On the app, it's got mapping completed. Do you want to save the map? I'm going to save it because we want to see if it just works. Do you want to create more zones? Not at the moment. Okay, please create no-go zones. Don't have any. That's all good. Save. Congratulations on completing all steps. The mowing area is a, nearly 200 square meters. The estimated mowing time is three hours, it says. Yes, I can confirm. 
okay to start mowing. Mowing, there we go. Auto mowing, cutting height. Uh, 40. 40. We'll set the chosen cutting height when mowing starts. Started. You did something right. So it's now charging, but so far it's cut all of the garden in the last few hours. Oh, it's been several weeks now since we've had this uh, robo up unit and it's cut the grass really really well but we did say if we find it dumped in a hedge somewhere that we'd tell you and this morning we found it here and that was after last night you saw just there that uh, it was running through the night with its little headlights on pretty powerful and it scared the hell out of julie <laughs> she popped out and said what the hell are those lights um yeah it was this running all on its own and I have actually found it probably three times now in the last two to three weeks that it has just missed the docking station and then just gone off and died on the side of the uh, on the side of the lawn. But um, it's no biggie. We come out, just reposition it back into the charging station, and it uh, recharges. I press go, and off it goes again. But uh, I'm just going to take this back now to the charging station because I'm going to remap the garden. Tidy it up. It's now all tidied up, remap it all and um, reset it. So this is several weeks of cutting with the robo up compared to not cut at all. And you can see the length. So it's done a pretty good job. That is quite a nice lawn. One thing I haven't shown in this video, it's been well used, is the underneath. Um, the cutters are actually offset slightly and that allows for a good cutting on the uh, on the edges of the garden so it's not centralized leaving a big gap it's only got this tiny little space here and then this rotary every so often it will go the other way and that evenly uh, distributes on the cut blades here so you don't have to change these constantly and for the blades you can basically just swap them round and also it comes with a little box of spare blades but that's that's pretty a neat idea that it'll go around one way and then it'll go around the other way i've just changed the location of the mower got it all now permanently installed i've remapped all the garden because i've um, changed the place and he's off now for his first mow but uh, i've got the power going directly inside uh, this building and then up here, I have the GPS antenna. And that comes down a small piece of conduit and the cable comes down the back of this water unit directly to the base station. So I'm pretty happy with this. He's doing his up and down lines. I'll see how he goes.
So we've been testing this now for three to four weeks. Um, a couple of those weeks we were away totally and um, it just carried on working. As I said earlier, it did dump itself a couple of times. We put it back in the charger and all was fine after that. But um, we've now remapped the garden and since remapping, it's worked flawlessly. Um, I think it is because we had lots of rough edges and things like this. So I've cut all those branches and given it a chance because uh, this basically autonomously finds the garden, maps the garden and then just mows in the most strategic, perfect parallel lines. Um, it, it's really good. I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. I'm surprised, but because uh, I've never used one of these before. Um, but it's pretty robust, solid, and I would highly recommend it. Thanks to RoboOp for sending us this unit for testing. Um, I'm going to put all the links down in the description. Please go along, have a look, do all your research. But um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with this.